Hello and welcome to part three of making your strings sound more realistic in Logic Pro 9. I'm your host, Bentley Michaels. And uh, it's a sad, sad time. I don't know if it's day or night where you are watching this all alone in your bunk. But it's a sad time. All, all great trilogies must come to an end. And this one is no different. So, we've done the previous steps of... One... Two. And now three. Ugh. All right. It's that time, kitties. It's time to add the compression. Time to add that multipressor. Time to do a little bit of tweaking with the adaptive limber. Time to really beef it up. Make it sound pretty. So, sing the song with me. Let's go on over to Logicville. Hello and welcome back to the third and final installment here in Logic Bill on how to make your uh, strings sound more realistic. All right, these are going to be the final three components right here, guys. Add limiter, multipress, ooh, and our regular compressor. Okay, so let's bypass all of these and we'll uh, start this bad boy from the top and add them in one at a time. Already hearing it. Add this compressor. Bring everything up good. Now add the big boy. Yeah, and that's the sound we're used to. Okie dokie. So, Logic has a lot of great presets where you can just kind of, you know, you could even use just the presets and you would be totally fine. I'm surprised I used a hard compressor here because they have a really fantastic strings compressor. I'm not going to switch it right now, but I would honestly suggest using the strings compressor instead of the hard compressor. I probably did a bunch of this all myself and uh, wasted a bunch of time when I could have gone with the, uh, with the strings thing and had it be a better uh, sort of starting off point. A lot of these things are great jumping off points and if it makes it sound exactly how you want it, then the perfect. Uh, but sometimes you need a little, uh, sometimes you need a little extra, extra nudging in the right way. Now, the adaptive limiter here, you know, this is, this is a huge volume booster, which is fantastic. So your out ceiling, which is going to be over here, that's basically saying you, you can't get any louder than 0.5, uh, negative 0.5 decibels. Okay. So no matter how hard you try, I'm not going to let you get louder than that. Okay, now when you set that, you're going to lose some volume uh, and, and, and maybe you just need, your volume just needs boosted in general. So that's where you use your gain here. But as you can tell all the way over, it sounds bad. So you need to sort of, I found that at about six, that's where it sounded the best, it was getting good results. I also added the little extra of, uh, of the input scale over here. Now you can hear that it's quieter. That goes up a little bit. You're adding more to it. it gives a little fuller sound. So that's your adaptive limiter. Play around with it. Honestly, it's a, uh, it's a trial and error kind of thing. It's really going to be dependent on the type of song you're, you have. If it's orchestral, if it's rock and roll, if it's hip hop, it's all going to be different. Uh, every time, but uh, those are the basics on how it works. Now, your normal compressor here, um, I just picked one, and once again, I just picked one, uh, kept the attack, you know, pretty pretty quick at 10 milliseconds, the release a little bit more at about uh, 48, but I'm going to bump it up to 50 here. The thing with this is if you extend the compression uh, the compression uh, threshold you're, you're gonna lose sound so you're gonna have to add gain so like say I'm at negative 19 now say I drop it all up because it's just riding hard it's compressing everything and like you're losing sound you can kinda hear it you'd have to bring it bring it way way up so that's why and sitting around right in this area, 
five to six. Try to, try to stay around five, but that's a pretty good area. Uh, pretty good area to be at, especially at the loudest parts. It goes a little bit over, that's all right. You can tell the compressor's working because it's keeping it. Now this bad boy, this bad boy is pretty great because this is your lows, your mid lows, your mids, and your highs. So it's a four part compressor dealing with almost like a channel EQ, but it's the compression version of a channel EQ basically, uh, in, in simplest terms. And so this way you can mess with, uh, once again, it comes with all of these factory presettings. I picked the hard, uh, final rock compressor is great. I've used that on some rock tunes, hip hop compressor, use that and then little tweaks here and there. Strings compressor, I use that now. I tend to put the auto gain on and that's going to blow everything way out of proportion. You may have to bring this down or it's just, it sort of bumps everything way up and then you can start messing with this. Uh, you don't have to turn it on, but you're gonna have to sort of mess with everything. If you take it off, okay, then you would be sort of messing with everything. You turn it on, bumps everything up, you're figuring out where everything is. And once again, you don't want this right in here to go up into the red did just a real quick right there but it didn't sound too bad so this is uh, something like say right here we got uh, game makeup before pressure thre threshold of, uh, negative 15.5 if you take it way up you start hearing the bass a lot so when I was messing with this it just kind of made sense to go here cellos and the strings there so yeah you guys get the idea so those are the three final key components to making your string sound more realistic and like I said with the multi press uh, I'd go with the string uh, the the default uh, the factory strings compressor right here because uh, it's a fantastic it, it makes really great sounds and if you want what you can do is you can just add the strings compressor to another bus, say you've got all these things bust here, bus it over to bus four, I think that was probably my original intention, and then add the multipress there with the strings thing, and then uh, for just that, say if you had other instruments, like in a full orchestra, put all the strings into one multi um, multipress bus there, and so it's just the just the strings getting that strings compressor, and then uh, you know have a couple other buses for the for for the other instruments. All right, that's everything. So we've learned about the piano roll with the expression, the breath, and the volume. We have learned about taking making the MIDI and the velocity sounds, making everything uh, nice and fabulous before you get into all this stuff right here, overlapping the MIDI sounds. We've learned about the uh, automation curve tool and the velocity tool. And then uh, over to the mixer as far as the, our space designers. What we uh, what, what are some nice things to use in there? The nice hall. Um, also, save your, you know, once you get something that sounds good, go up in, in, into here and save setting as. And then save it so that you have it for next time. And then finally, adaptive limiter, multipress, and compressor, your three best friends. Uh, with the multipressor, once again, use the string compressor if you have it. Uh, and you should, unless it's not in Logic Pro 10. Oh no, what if it isn't? Thanks, guys. And that's how we get the final product. Hey, it's been uh, great fun being your teacher in this long-winded series of videos. If you've watched all of them, awesome. I hope they were helpful for you. Uh, if you only watched part of them, well, hopefully some of that was helpful for you. Or if you just turned me off, well, I don't know why you're watching this now. So, it's been fantastic. I will be back with more tutorials. Uh, I like doing them. They're fun. And uh, I get some good uh, good feedback, some good email. Uh, if uh, if you want to contact me with, uh, with an idea of uh, a tutorial you think I should do, here is my email address. Or just leave it in the comment section.
leave it in the comment section, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Until next time, keep do. Fuck, I need a catchphrase. <laughs>